Okay. Liz, tell me about Women's Voices. Uh, well, this year is going to be the fourth Women's Voices conference, and it began. It came out of an article that I wrote for the Preacher magazine about whether women preach with a different voice and what that might mean. So I did some research and there seemed to be three different aspects of women's preaching that was different. One, the fact that they're seen as a woman and therefore that means some people don't listen to them right from the off. Um, and one is their experiences are different, so they've always been given a kind of male normative interpretation yeah. of the Bible, which you must have come across yeah. in your studies. Um, and the fact that women seem to experience God differently okay. um, and so the article was really well received and we thought we'll see if there's space for a conference and uh, the first year we got 32 people I think um, and we've had to move venues now so I think there are 80 people booked on and there's a waiting already, list for this yeah. year already yeah, and it's not till November. Yeah that's, that's so. great so what's going to be happening this year for this year's this year we've got Susan is. Derber coming. Oh, who, she's good, yeah, yeah. No, she's uh, great. Yeah, so she's going to talk about the difference that women's preaching might make and yep. how it might be different, yep. um, which will be really yeah. interesting. And then I want to talk about, in the afternoon, make a link to Vote 100. Yes. Because that's about women being heard Absolutely. politically. Uh, and I want to do something about how women might be heard in the church. Because it is political. I mean, with a small mm. P, yes. um, yeah. women's voices being heard is political, whether that's through uh, preaching and teaching in the church yeah. or, or more widely in yeah. community. Um, and partly, that's why I'm really glad you've asked me. I know you have asked me in previous years, yeah. but why this year? Year, um, I've tried to make it a priority. Yeah. I really want to be able to be with you because yeah. it's important that we take these opportunities that are afforded by mm. community events like Vote 100 yes. um, yeah. and build on that. Yes, yes. For me, this is a, a real matter of of yeah. gospel imperative, really. Mm. Yes. Um, it seems to me that if women's voices aren't heard then there's part of God's voice that isn't heard. That's right, yeah. There's a danger that we think if women's voices are going to be heard, we're trying to find the bit that is the same about men and women, instead of thinking it makes our theology bigger and actually it makes our God a bigger God at the end of the makes day. makes everybody's well. theology bigger, not just yes, women's theology. That's right. It makes yes, men's exactly. theology bigger as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yes. And just as, as women have had centuries of um, acclimatising and assimilating uh, men's perspectives and men's voices um, into our own stories mm. um, and, and in some ways that has been constructive and fruitful as well as in some yes, instances yeah. diminishing and yeah. um, abusive but similarly it's really important that actually men are able to assimilate women's voices yes. into their theology and practice yes. and experience because that's how we get the whole mm. because the image of God is both male and female. Absolutely, yeah. And so yes, if we're going yeah. to hear God's voice, mm. we have to hear the voices of yes. women and men. That's right. I mean, that's why we've made it not just a conference for women, women. but about women. And so there have been a smaller number, obviously, of men who've come along, but they've really appreciated it as well. And um, in fact, last year, one man said, I never thought I could sit and listen to somebody speak for 40 minutes, but actually I was so engrossed in what you were saying, I found it very refreshing. That's really good. So, well, I'm really, really pleased to be able to be with yeah. you this year. I'm really looking forward that's to being great, with you in yeah. November. <laughs>